Welcome, everyone. Uh, I uh, would like you to welcome you all to our uh, select board uh, candidates night. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Day, and uh, I'd like to uh, review the forum ground rules and our agenda. Uh, ground rules first. Uh, all participants will use neutral language to describe people and issues. All participants should refrain from personal or departmental attacks. Candidates will observe the time limits. The moderator will ask the question, that is me. And the moderator will interrupt candidates who go over the time limits. The order of questions, uh, question responses has been determined randomly in advance. There will be no questions from the audience. However, candidates will share at the end how you may reach out how you folks may reach out or the folks on uh, TV may reach out and ask uh, questions in the future. I would uh, ask the audience uh, to uh, be as quiet as possible so that the folks, uh, the viewers at home can hear. Uh, our agenda will be, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll do an um, int introduction to the candidates. It, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance and then we have uh, uh, three questions and then we will uh, wrap up. Pretty straightforward agenda. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, introduce Maureen Nikitas, and uh, she'll uh, show everyone the, the cards that she'll be using to uh, tell you uh, how you're doing with your time. 30 second warning, and your time is up. Thank you, Maureen. Mm -hmm. and, our, and if folks want to, uh, uh, we'll. we'll uh, just I'll, we'll go down the line, but uh, maybe we can just give a wave. So, uh, so Thomas Wright, Lisa Chase, <laughs> Philip Roy, and Larry Rundell. Thank you. And uh, um, Margaret Wheeler, who is running for the uh, open seat on the school board, was uh, unable to be here due to a prior commitment. Uh, now, if you could all uh, rise and uh, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. All right, we will um, jump into the uh, questions. And as I mentioned, uh, I randomly... Um, Selected an, an order that you're going, and and uh, we'll we'll switch that up for each um, question. So uh, the first question will be: Tell us your name, the position you seek, a little bit about yourself, and the reason you are interested in representing Berwick residents in this position. You'll have three minutes, and uh, Lisa, you'll go first. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, I want to thank all of you for getting the event together. Uh, my name is Lisa Chase. I live at 46 Silvertail Road. I'm running for the select board position. I, live, I lived in Maine for 53 years. That totals my whole life. <laughs> I grew up in Bangor and moved to southern Maine about 25 years ago um, to advance my career in accounting. I'm married to a wonderful husband, John, who has always been very supportive of everything that I've been involved in. And I have a beautiful daughter, Alicia, that amazes me time and time again. I'm a proud mom. Um, I'm interested in representing the residents of Berwick for a few different reasons. I've always gravitated to taking an active, passionate role in volunteering. I will devote my time to this position and hope that you take advantage of my energy. I will listen to all of your concerns and promise to bring attention to everything that you bring forward and answer and get answers back to you. I will provide balance. I want to be part of open communication between property owners, residents, and the town. You all work hard and deserve to understand where your tax dollars are being spent. I will make a difference in being active in our community. We are a small but growing community and I feel that we need to take care of each other and bring attention to what matters the most to our residents. Thank you. 
All right, uh, Tom. Good evening. My name's Tom Wright. Is um, I'm finishing up my third consecutive term as a selectman, and I'm running for re-election. Um, I grew up in Berwick. Um, my wife grew up in Berwick also. We graduated from Noble. And both of our kids graduated from Noble, and I have two grandsons in Noble right now. Um, I have at least another dozen family members who live in town. So as you can see, I'm committed to the town of Berwick. Is, um, when I was growing up, uh, the population was approximately 3,000 people, and now we're approaching 8,000. There have been a lot of changes in the town, but I feel that most of the changes have been for the positive. Is we've been continuing looking forward and trying to figure out what we're doing in Berwick, what we want to happen in Berwick, and making those our goals and working towards our goals. Um, both of my parents were World War II veterans, and uh, they instilled in me uh, commitment to the service to the community. And I think that in my past service as a selectman, and in our next question, we'll get into a little bit more of my background about how I've been working with the community, and I just feel that we have work to continue to do, and I want to be there to continue it. Thank you. Well, good evening, citizens of Berwick. Uh, my name is Phil Roy, and I hope to earn your vote to fill a vacancy on the select board for the town of Berwick. Uh, I was raised in Auburn, Maine. Uh, I left kicking and screaming at the tender age of 18. Uh, I went off and I joined the United States Coast Guard. Uh, in that capacity, I served as a corpsman and a salvage diver. I've traveled all seven continents and sailed all five seas. Uh, I've sailed all of the Great Lakes. I've served as a high-risk instructor at the U.S. Navy Dive School in Panama City, Florida. Towards the end of my career, I served as program manager for the United States Coast Guard Diving Program. I managed a multi-million dollar budget, 250 globally assigned personnel. I was responsible for equipping, training, and execution of the Coast Guard underwater mission on a worldwide scale. I retired as a Command Master Chief. It was an honor to wear the cloth of this nation for nearly 24 years. After traveling the world, I realized uh, there was really no place like my home state of Maine, and uh, my wife, Wendy, and I chose Berwick as our final home for our blended family of six children. We love the small town, country living atmosphere, yet we still enjoy our town's close proximity to great cities and the expanse of the great north woods where we like to recreate. I've since started a second federal career at Portsmouth Naval Shipyard, where I serve as a quality assurance inspector in the lifting and handling department. I'm seeking a seat on the select board to be the change that I wish to see. I'm going to use a public transportation analogy uh, to explain my methodology and how I would execute my duties as a selectman for the town of Berwick. I'm going to use the term bus driver as an analogy for selectmen. I want you to elect me to be your bus driver. And I promise you that if you do, I'll find you the best deal on an appropriately sized bus for the people of this town. I'll maintain the bus to ensure public safety and I'll find the smoothest, most direct, and cost-effective route to destinations that my, pa my passengers have voted on. The passengers on my bus are registered voters who are actively involved in local governance. They're capable, intelligent, they're, they're capable of intelligent, spirited debate, absent emotion, anger, and personal attacks. They're heavily invested in the bus system and its many destinations. The second type of people that I see on my bus route are ones that show up to the bus stop but they don't necessarily get on the bus because they're inherently distrusting of the bus driver, the bus itself, the destination, and they're not personally invested. Uh, they're sometimes incapable of reasonable debate, absent anger and emotion. The third type of people I see on my route are the ones dancing blissfully in the streets. There's nothing wrong with this and it's their God-given constitutional right to do so. These people are not registered to vote and they likely have no idea that the bus stop, the bus, or the bus driver even exists. If I'm doing my job and I'm serving within the, oath, the capability of my oath and the full, my fullest capacity of the position, I'm inspiring the passengers on my bus to one day fill my seat. I think it's time to may, may I close? All right. I'm, pas I'm passionate and I'm personally invested in the betterment and the bright future of our town and the greater good of all of our citizens. I'd like for everyone to have a seat on the bus and have a say in our local governance. Thank, Thank you. you.
Larry? Good evening. My name is Larry Rendell. I live at 23 Black Bear Hill Road. I've lived there for over 45 years. I was born and brought up in Berwick for 66 years. I'm running for the select board because uh, the growth, I, I got done working for the highway department approximately uh, 10 years between part-time and full-time. I plowed snow in this town for over 40 years, and with the growth in the traffic, I believe I'd be an asset to come up with faster and quicker ways to clean the town. Uh, I'm very familiar with heavy equipment, uh, so I have a lot of knowledge in this town. I know where things are. I've been here, and I, I am fully committed, and my door would always be open and my phone would always be on. And I'm just hoping that I can get you a vote. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, but what inspired me to run for select board is there doesn't seem to be a lot of transparency. I've tried to watch it on TV and I get a little flustered. Um, someone comes with takes their time to come down here and ask a question, I think it should be answered. And a lot of times it's not, and that's frustrating for the, for the taxpayers of the town of Berwick to come here. I've heard people say we don't get no answers. So I would hope to think we can change that, be a little more transparent, let people know what's going on in this town. We don't hear it till after the fact. So, um, and with the edge coming in, I think that's a wonderful thing over there. But there's just going to be so many changes, and I'd love to be part of it, to, to, to make some decisions on which way we should go with this. Thank you. Thank you. All right, second question. What organizations or nonprofits or committees have you been involved with and how will these experiences help you in the position you seek? So, uh, Larry, we're going to go to you, and you have two minutes. Okay, it's been about 30 years, but I was a member of the Burke Police Department. I was a volunteer firefighter in this town for several, several years. Uh, most recently, I worked for the Public Works. I got done about eight, nine years ago. I had over 40 years working part-time and full-time on the highway. Um, I just have a lot of knowledge of how this town is run, and I'm just looking so forward to it. I'm semi-retired. I have the time to put 100% into it, you know. All set? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right, Phil? So I've been uh, volunteering my time to serve on the Berwick Planning Board over the past several years. Uh, I've become a champion for reasonable growth uh, and development, and I pride myself on my ability to find compromise in difficult issues. Through my time and experience, I've progressed to filling the position of Vice Chair on the Planning Board. I'd encourage voters to review past Planning Board meetings, which are available on Berwick Community Media, uh, on their webpage and on their YouTube channel. If you like my style and demeanor, in this capacity, I humbly ask for your vote so that I can continue to serve our community in a greater capacity. I'm also a member of our town's American Legion Post and American Legion Motorcycle Riders Group. As a 100% service-connected disabled veteran myself, I'm extremely passionate and advocating for veteran services and veterans' rights. Our Legion Post raises money through charitable events and volunteer endeavors, and we donate significantly to local charities, veterans in need, and other non profit organizations within our community. Our American Legion, Charles Hatch Post 79, has been nationally recognized for their community service on a national level. I'm active in the local education system. I recently chaperoned a week-long field trip for noble eighth graders to tour our national capital. This trip provided several mentoring opportunities with our community's youth, explaining aspects of our national governance and our country's rich history. I feel that my vast and varied experience serving our nation in and out of uniform as well as more recent experience filling vital roles in our local community make me the most experienced and well-rounded candidate 
to serve the people of Berwick in this critical role. Again, I humbly ask for your trust and your vote. Thank you. Lisa? I volunteered my time for a wide variety of organizations over the years. The Bangor Literacy Organization, Penobscot Community Theater, Kiwanis, Abnaki Council, Senior Centers, Food Pantries, Soup Kitchens, um, Youth Programs, the Maine Crisis Center, and most recently the President of Fox Ridge Association, and I've been the Treasurer of Hospice and York Council. Uh, there are many more, but because of my wide variety of organizations I have been involved with and will be able to add balance to the board and I'll be able to identify with other different situations that our residents bring forward as concerns. I also bring an accounting background with an understanding of federal and state funding. Thank you. Tom? Is, uh, I worked 40 years in the construction industry. Is, uh, most of that was in heavy construction. Um, I'm finishing up my, well, it's actually my 12th year as a selectman. I served one term in the mid-90s, and I'm finishing up my three year, three terms now. I was a state representative for Berwick for four years. As I worked, I have been an alternate on the planning board before I was a selectman. As I've been involved with the Envision Berwick group since its inception, back when it was a Downtown Vision Group, I believe, is what it originally was, um, and uh, worked with them over the years, you know, bringing change to Berwick. Um, and back in the 1990s, I was on the Recreation Commission and worked with them extensively. There's a, a lot of the uh, playground equipment that got taken out last year was, we put it in 30 years ago. And uh, uh, so... Those are some of the things that I've been involved in. As you can see, most of it has been you know, working for the community, and uh, that's what I continue wanting to do and looking forward to it for the next three years. Thank you. All right, our uh, final question. What type of things do you hope to accomplish in this position and or tell us one thing you want voters to know about you? You'll have two minutes. And um, Tom, you'll start, please. Um, I got back involved nine years ago. Is, before, is, uh, I was a volunteer for the uh, Berwick Community Television back then, and I used to sit in the little room over in the, the closet over there during the meetings. <coughs> and for the people that don't know, about 20 years ago, is there was chaos in town. Is we had select board meetings that were descending into almost fist fights. We had police here and nothing was getting done. And I finally got fed up sitting in the room, listening to what was going on during the selectman's meeting. At that particular point is there was a select board member who spent 10 minutes publicly chastising the town clerk for a misplaced comma. And I decided it was time to change things then. And, um, uh, I stepped forward at that time and ran and was elected. Um, since then, is the town has gotten over $10 million in grant money to clean up the tannery site. We're working with Great Falls Construction. They're investing $50 million over there. Um, we've gotten grants to upgrade our water service. We've got great grants to improve the downtown. And these are all just some of the things that we've been working on for the past 10 years. And I, as I said, I want to continue along those lines. And I think that, you know, with the right moves forward, we can continue this growth and uh, make our changes that we as a town want. Thank you. Phil? Well, through my experience uh, working on the planning board and discussions I've had with people in our town, I hear their sense of frustration about our town's rapid growth. Burke has taken on businesses and industries that other more affluent communities have given a definitive hard no to. When you drive through our neighboring communities, we jokingly <clears throat> speak about the marijuana mile out on Route 202 through Lebanon and the expanse of solar farms in our community and neighboring communities. Is this the image that we want for our great town? What are we doing as a small town to entice new and innovative businesses to consider Berwick a place where they want to set up shop? What are we doing collectively to preserve our small town charm, natural resources, and country appeal? 
<clears throat> I believe we need to strike a balance. We shouldn't be going all in on pot and solar because it's low-hanging fruit and it's easy. I'm not against either of these industries, but we must find an appropriate balance. I hear the townspeople's concern about excuse me, subdivisions uh, popping out throughout our community and the ripple effect of these developments that they will have on our fire, police, water, sewer, and the school system. This rapid rate of growth it does conform to current land use ordinances. I'd like to implore the voting public to come before the planning board and the select board to be the change that they wish to see. Advocate for larger lot sizes, larger green spaces. These initiatives are the only way we preserve our small town's unique character, and I would like to put my full faith and effort behind such an endeavor. We talk about Envision Berwick, but I want to have a vision for Berwick. I intend to live in this town for the rest of my life, and I want to leave a future legacy for uh, generations so they may enjoy the town and, and what is unique about it. If your vision is similar to mine, please allow me to have your vote. Allow me to champion for what we want our town to look like. I look forward to serving the people of Berwick in whatever capacity the voters see fit. Thank you for your time, and I'll continue to be yours in service and support. Thank you. Larry? As I said here, I'm, I'm nervous. But when I'm given a job to do, I do it, and I do it well. Oh, excuse me. Got a cramp. Um, I do it well. Over the course of getting my signatures, I heard a lot of uh, people say that they don't get many answers. If I'm elected, I'm the guy that will get you the answers. Um, there's just a lot that goes on that uh, that uh, I'm nervous, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to this, but I do a better job as selectman as I do as a spokesperson. <laughs> I can grant you that. I am a real go-getter. I am professional. Uh, but <laughs> I feel funny. <laughs> I would just like to say that I hope people don't take my <laughs> nervousness is not knowing what to do. I know what to do, I know how to do it, and I want to do it. It's just that, you know, I'm not used to speaking to a microphone with a camera. <laughs> but if you come to me with a question, you know, what really got me interested once is uh, the rec field. Our, our kids have been two years without a rec field. And I've tried to find answers myself just recently and couldn't. Um, that would be one thing that I'd really strive to get some answers. I think there's some big problems up there from what I'm being told. And I'm the guy, I, I know groundwork. I can get to the bottom of it and get some answers for the, and I would make it public what's going on and give you some answers. Thank you. Thank you. And Lisa. I love the direction that we're going in in developing strong communication throughout the town. One of my things is voting. We have such a small number of residents deciding where our tax dollars are being spent. I help to promote, promote voting, motivation, and communication. Everyone needs to vote. I am a supporter of small business, while at the same time, I will be mindful to keep all residents in mind while promoting the growth. Our water is a concern of mine. It has been for quite a while. I'll follow our water communication closely and ask many questions to get clear understanding of where things stand. And to be honest, the main reason I want to be here is to learn all aspects of the town for all of us, and to re represent you, the taxpayers. Thank you. Okay, um, the, uh, the last question I have is uh, if um, you could uh, share how folk can uh, best reach out to you if they have more questions. Um, so, Tom, why don't we start with you? Uh, my phone number in the book is 698-5326. Is um, you can try my email. I do check it on occasion. Ask Patty about that. Is uh, it's uh, fifty seven T right at Comcast dot net. 
Thank you. Lisa? Um, my email address is lmc1123-1969 at gmail.com. My phone number is 603-767-3167. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Phil? Uh, yeah, I've put uh, quite a bit of my, my own personal stuff out there on the Berwick uh, Community Facebook page. Um, if you'd like to message me there, uh, I'm, I'm an open book. I, I've put myself out there seeking input from the town, and uh, please continue. I, I enjoy the dialogue. Additionally, uh, in addition to Facebook Messenger, please feel free to email me at my email address at philroy, P-H-I-L-R-O-Y-8-8 at gmail.com. Thank you. Larry? My email is lerendell one one at gmail dot com. My phone number is two zero seven two five one one six eight five. Feel free to come to my home at twenty three Blackberry Hill Road. I will greet you with a smile. I love company, and we can talk. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. That uh, that ends our questions. Uh, I would like to thank our candidates for participating tonight, taking the time to come out and. Uh, providing providing uh, answers to our questions. Um, I'd just like to add that with the contact information, I know when they when they edit the film, they will add that and put it on screen for each great. of us. So everybody's information will be up there. Oh, great. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks, Tom. Um, and I would like to thank the audience that we had uh, for participating and uh, our viewers at, at home. And thank you to... Uh, uh, Maureen and uh, Bobby in the control room for uh, uh, keeping things running smoothly tonight. Just as a reminder, voting is on June 13th, beginning at 8 a.m. and closing at 8 p.m. Absentee ballots are available now. Just checking. Yeah, yeah. And registered voters may request one by visiting the Berwick website, which is www.berwickmain.org. If you click on departments and then you click on town clerk, um, in the, uh, the menu on the left-hand side, there'll be, you can click on absentee ballots. It's right up at the top. And also in that green menu on the left, you can click on elections if you are looking for more information uh, related to uh, the elections. And that... Um, is a wrap for the evening. And Thank you, Jeff, Thank for you. moderating. Thank you, Thank and you. Uh, appreciate it. And good luck to good luck to you all. Thank, Thank you. you.